Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the Radiant Ranks. I'm back and today's video is a special one. It's uh, out of the cycle that we actually do the videos and this one is special because we are celebrating a little firecracker, a cheeky monkey, a dynamo, our darling Aliza's birthday. And of course, it's a very exciting day for all of us, especially a brother. And we definitely wanted to actually share her journey over the last one year, wanted to share the progress that she's gone through. And uh, of course, with the progress came challenges, but that's all right. It's all good. And we did a small celebration for her birthday. Um, we had a cake and she was quite excited. So do watch till the end. And uh, we've got the celebration video at the end. And before we forget, uh, please do not forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel. And there is actually a notification bell on the top, which you can actually click to make sure that you get the latest videos alert and stay updated with whatever we are posting. So without much ado, let's get cracking. So um, as you all can see in the video, like uh, she's obviously, you know, like quite attracted to different colors. She's been trying a lot of new things. This last year, one year has been quite uh, unique because she's tried a lot of new things with all the therapies that she undergoes. She undergoes like occupational therapy, speech therapy, physiotherapy, behavior therapy. So it's obviously quite unique, uh, quite challenging. But, uh, you know, she's obviously quite enjoyed. And this chair that you see, it's actually her feeding chair, which we just got in December last year. And it's quite comfortable. It's got a broad tray where she can put stuff. So she obviously loves to eat uh, when she's sitting in the chair, but also do a lot of activities. Um, the OT obviously is, the occupational therapist is quite, uh, you know, keen on making sure that she has got a good visual hand-eye coordination as well as the motor skills improve. And that's why, you know, she actually gets all these colorful uh, blocks and toys, which improve that visual acuity as well as, you kind know, of make sure that, you know, she's able to grab certain things and do a lot of activity. Also, as you can see that she's, uh, you know, quite playful and she wants to do things on her own. Like, of, of course, she has to be taught a lot of things, but she's also a self-learner. And we got this uh, game for her, which is the fishing game. Um, she obviously doesn't understand how to play the game as such, but she's got that uh, sense of actually picking up each of those toy fishes and, you know, putting them in the slots where possible. And we allow her to actually do that because it uh, obviously encourage her, encourages her to be a bit more of her me time, uh, learn on her own at her pace, but also kind of, you know, she tries to figure out that what she's learned and how she can actually uh, make that work in the game that she plays. This one, of course, is a very important part of the physiotherapy and the occupational therapy uh, learning where it's more about uh, and also the speech therapy to a certain extent where it's more about learning how to count learning how to stop at the count and making sure that you're able to catch uh, the ball if possible and throw the ball back to the person who's actually thrown it to you so it obviously has visual it has uh, hand-eye coordination it's got physical uh, ability to, able to throw the strength so it all obviously combines a lot of things that all the therapists do. And also, as you can see, this has been a very, very unique uh, moment where we were, we were able to actually record that. It's the first time, you know, probably in the past month or so that she's done this, where she's actually been able to climb down the stairs. Uh, so, of course, the physiotherapist has been working on climbing up and climbing down. She is obviously quite conscious when it comes to climbing down, uh, obviously the fear of, you know, maybe what will happen if I miss the step or, you know, if I'm not able to actually put the step correctly. 
and this one obviously was challenging been almost like 18 odd months in the making and she did this one fine day she got off the stairs and yeah she was quite happy happy about it so as you can see she is walking on the grass in this video uh, that has been a challenge because of her sensory issues uh, texture issues uh, she obviously is not very comfortable in the grass she's okay with the other uh, surfaces but this has been in the making since the last three years where you know we would put her on the grass and she would be wondering what needs to be done but now you know she's comfortable yes there are moments when she's not but here she's like quite comfortable enjoying you know making sure touching every bit of the grass walking on it and yeah just making sure that you know i mean she's uh, able to actually feel what what's beneath her feet and here this is actually quite a unique moment where um, you know she saw her brother actually riding the cycle and she wanted to actually get onto the cycle it's obviously a cycle for teens but she was like quite excited to be on it and her brother as you can see was overprotective very very cautious to make sure that obviously nothing happens to her she doesn't fall but still they both gave it a try she enjoyed she loved actually riding on the cycle uh, though obviously her legs don't reach the pedal or anything but yeah she's just enjoying whenever we go out again to the park and the brother is on the cycle she would definitely want to ride around and she's quite uh, reluctant to leave the cycle so as you can see in this video of course feeding has been a big challenge for her um, I've mentioned that in my earlier video that uh, she of course can't eat normal food we have to give everything in a mashed form she eats everything but yeah of course in a mashed form and this obviously was the very first time an exciting moment for us when she actually asked for the spoon so as you guys know that because of a genetic disorder and the autism it's the how and the what which is difficult but here she actually tried to pick up the spoon you know dig into the food you know get it to her mouth eat it again put the spoon back ask for more and that's this has been of course possible because of uh, the feeding therapy that she undergoes which we started on her last birthday so it's been like 11 months in the making and very challenging you know we had to do a lot of piecemeal approach but it's been quite exciting that she's actually uh, learning this trait, learning the skill, which is an important life skill, making sure that, you know, she's getting a wholesome nutrient filled food. And it also makes sure that, you know, she uh, obviously is fulfilling her own need in a way that she knows how much she can eat, what, you know, how, when to stop, when to start. And that actually provides her that satisfaction. So as you can see in this uh, clip that, uh, you know, one of the most unique challenges that we faced uh, was, okay, fine, you know, we'll be able to make her walk. But how do you get her to do the second thing, which is jumping, uh, which is also goes hand in hand with the walking. And we tried actually searching for options. Uh, the physiotherapist gave us an idea that why don't you try a trampoline? So we got her trampoline. Initially, she was quite hesitant uh, to even go into it. Then she started going into it. She just sat there. She actually uh, was, you know, just feeling everything. She did obviously, uh, you know, like just stand up once or twice initially. But then she again sat down because of the, the bounce in the trampoline, which she got a bit uh, scared. Then she got comfortable as we started to introduce her to the trampoline every day. She used to like just lie down, just, you know, like uh, and just stay there. Again, her me moments, uh, just kind of, you know, making sure that we gave her all her toys so that she's comfortable. She's in there. <clears throat> she's kind of, you know, just uh, getting familiarized with the, with the trampoline. And then came the day when she actually stood up and started to jump. And we were quite happy because, of course, you know, I mean, with her doing that uh, was quite difficult, quite uh, challenging, quite uh, stressful because of her sensory issues. 
And then, of course, you know, she started to actually take a lot of interest. She used to enjoy. Her brother has helped her immensely in making sure that, you know, she's able to use the trampoline in a way that it needs to be used. Uh, we used to introduce like playing ball games and, you know, like throwing and catching stuff and just jumping, just you know, lying down, just sitting there. So it was, of course, a very, uh, uh, a, a most, the most over the last one year, the most challenging uh, thing to get her to do. And yeah, she's got very comfortable now. She loves the trampoline. She goes on her own sometimes and just walks out of the door, goes to the trampoline. We've kept the, the mini gate open so she can go in. She has a ball, her sensory toys in there. She goes there, she lies down for a couple of minutes, starts jumping, enjoying, and she loves the trampoline. She's like really got the hang of it. And I think she's ready to transition to a bigger one now. So yeah, it's it's really good. And the physiotherapist has really helped us actually get to this level of her next, uh, you know, ability to do physical skills. So yeah, it's really exciting. And we're hoping that we're able to get her a bigger trampoline where she's able to do a lot of other things and get her to do things standing on her own and doing it rather than even holding it. So that's the next step that we plan. So thank you everyone for watching uh, this uh, celebration video uh, on Aliza's birthday. Of course, uh, with her sensory issues and sensory overload, uh, we can't do things on the go. So we had to prep her up, you know, from the past two, three days. We started singing songs and started cheering. And it's like, whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? And that's how, you know, we got to this uh, celebration. We can't do things instantly for her. Otherwise, you know, uh, sometimes it just kind of um, hits a different level and uh, it's it obviously, you know, puts her off. So we have to prep her a bit. 
but yeah i mean just hoping that uh, the next year of course is as uh, you know uh, exciting as uh, less stressful and challenging for her for us she's able to learn more she's able to do things more independently learn more life skills and we also will obviously you know keep uh, providing snippets of her life skills as she does over the next year which uh, we will be very excited to share and we actually want to um, also thank everyone who subscribed to our channel um, for those who haven't please do subscribe uh, we also on instagram so do follow us at the radiant ranks official and as i mentioned earlier in the video we have uh, got the bell icon uh, notification so please do hit that uh, just to get all our latest videos and yeah uh, we'll come back with more exciting videos over the week so please stay tuned and thank you again for watching and wishing aliza a very happy birthday bye